A wonderful day to one and all. Welcome back to our video watching activity. And for this week, we will be discussing a real life application that is relevant to the lesson that we had last week. So, without further ado, let's get started. And here are the learning objectives that we need to attain by the end of this lesson. You are going to solve problems involving angles of elevation and angles of depression. This example shows an angle of elevation. What is an angle of elevation? An angle of elevation, as you can see on this picture, it is an angle formed, a horizontal line, and a line of sight to a point above the line. That is an angle of elevation. Try to check the given illustration. Now let's try to solve an angle of elevation on this inclined plane. Suppose that a person is walking through an inclined plane, or shall I say, it is a ramp. So we will be using the trigonometric ratio that we had last week to solve for the angle of elevation based on this given illustration. What trigonometric ratio are we going to use? Is it so? Is it ka? Or is it toa? Yes, we are going to solve using the ratio of sine. Because, as you can see, we are given with the opposite side, which measures 2 meters, and we are looking for the length of the hypotenuse, or it is the length of the ramp. Now let's try to solve using the sine ratio. Okay, using the sine ratio, we have sine theta, or the sine of the angle, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Substitute the values, which is 25 degrees for the angle and 2 meters for the opposite side. So that is sine 25 degrees is equal to 2 over the unknown hypotenuse that is represented by the variable d. Next to that, we apply the multiplication property of equality and multiply its multiplicative inverse of d to both sides of the equation to eliminate d on the right side of the equation. Now we have d sine 25 degrees is equal to 2. Next to this one is to divide both sides by sine 25 degrees to eliminate sine 25 on the left side so that we can get now the value of d or the length of the ramp. So we have 2 divided by the value of the sine 25 degrees. Now use your calculators to solve for the value for the sine 25 degrees. So that is 2 divided by 0 0.4226 or 2 divided by 4,226 ten thousandths. Simplify this one and you will get 4.73 meters as the length of the ramp. Next, this illustration shows an angle of depression. What is an angle of depression? An angle of depression, as you can see in this illustration, it is the angle formed by a horizontal line and a line of sight to a point below the line. Take note, it is 
below the line. So try to observe the given illustration. Let's try to solve an angle of depression using this example. Suppose that a person is going through the ramp downwards. Let's try to solve this one using the given values. Suppose that the horizontal distance from the person to the object below is 5 meters with an angle of depression that is 30 degrees. What is the length of the ramp? What trigonometric ratio are we going to use with this example? We are going to use ka since we are given with the length of the adjacent side and our unknown is the hypotenuse with respect to 30 degree angle of depression. So, we are going to substitute the values or the given data on the ka or the cosine ratio. So, cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So we will apply this equation or formula to solve for the length of the hypotenuse. So let's recall first the ratio of cosine. So cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent side of this given illustration is 5 meters with a cosine 30 degrees with respect to 30 degree angle of depression and then the hypotenuse side is the unknown side of this given illustration after that we will apply multiplication property of equality by multiplying the multiplicative inverse of d to both sides of the equation to eliminate d on the right side of the equation then we have d Cosine 30 degrees is equal to 5. After that, we need to eliminate cosine 30 degrees to the left side of the equation so that we can get the value of d as the length of the ramp. So divide both sides by cosine 30 degrees. Then we have d is equal to 5 over cosine 30 degrees. After that, key in on the calculator what is the value of cosine 30 degrees and that is 8660 10 thousandths divide 5 by 0 0.8660 and then we can solve now for the value or the length of the round So that is how you solve for the angle of depression and angle of elevation. So basically, it is just an application or a real-life application to the trigonometric ratios that we had discussed last week. Now, for your task, you have to think of a real-life application that can be applied in solving for the sine ratio, cosine ratio, and the tangent ratio. Or, shall I say, a real-life application for the angles of elevation and angles of depression. And you are going to present that one on the consultation day. So, once again, a wonderful day to one and all. And thank you so much for watching. See you on the consultation day.